Krall. I'm the executive director here at the Community Dining Room, and uh, we're being interviewed by the Patch today. We want to talk about our home delivery program, which is moving uh, very, very strongly to support older people, people with illnesses, or are recuperating from surgical procedures that need food support in the home. Uh, there's rice in the oven, and then chicken will be baked, and then they're getting a zucchini and tomato mixture. So they get a, a chicken, rice, and a vegetable. And this is for home delivery? This is for home delivery, yes. And our drivers, they're, deliver, they're delivering to 54 people today, which is, that's a lot of food. In addition to serving clients one hot lunch three times a week through home delivery, Community Dining Room packs two frozen meals for clients to reheat on off delivery days. Volunteer Priscilla Angelo prepares the deliveries. And these are going to be meals for um, Saturday and Sunday? Oh yeah. Seven days a week. Is there an art to cutting chicken? Yeah, finding the bone is what it's all about. You break it apart. Volunteer Richard Gressley readies nearly 70 pounds of chicken for cook Frank Toro to prepare. Toro is a man of few words, but can make one heck of a chicken piccata. Mother and daughter team Carly and Linda Breslin have been volunteering at the community dining room for over one year. And you're off from school this week? Yeah. Where do you go to school? Well. And do you um, come during school breaks or do you guys come every week? Um, well, she comes every week. I come during school breaks in the summer. Carly readies frozen meals for home delivery while mom packages hot lunches. And you just have to be careful so if there's stuff on the sides that doesn't seem proper. Typical package includes a, a delicious prepared hot lunch in a special container with three compartments that can be microwaved or heated in the oven, as well as various other pieces like a nice loaf of bread if we have extra bread, or dessert, or fruit. So there's about four to 450 hot meals being prepared and distributed weekly in that program alone. Barbara finishes packing up the hot meals for driver Betsy Carmen, who delivers several times a week. So as you can see, they already packed bags, so the bags over there go with the fresh meals. Betsy has worked with the community dining room since it began more than two decades ago as the soup seller. She is 73 and still volunteers as a home delivery driver. The home delivery program is a very special program and it continues to uh, increase in need. Last year it increased 12.9% as people age in place and families move farther apart, there's more need for food support. We consider it an extremely important part of the social service network here in Bramford. I lunch every day and then we of course we supplement with usually cooking another meal. So it's a help for one meal a day. And is it nice to see Betsy? Yes. <laughs> is she your favorite driver? Oh, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Can't be partial, I guess. Betsy is well liked by all the people she visits and has even crawled up this walkway in the snow to make her deliveries this past winter. Up there that I <laughs> See, they got the ice melt. Her efforts do not just include dropping food off. Betsy ensures the well-being of each client every time she visits. If somebody comes here on a Monday and that's here, here, they will take that meal and throw it away because that food's been out here for a couple of days. They will not leave another meal. They will come back, they will give me a call and I will make some phone calls. I'll call him, I would call his I mean, a nurse, I have a uh, sometimes a family member or a close friend or neighbor, but I would definitely follow up on it. To make sure that nothing To make has sure that nothing has happened to this person. Yeah. This Branford resident who has been receiving home delivery for several years explains the value of the program. I have a, a daughter and granddaughters that take pretty good care of me, but uh, you know, they take me out once in a while, like 
when I have to go to the doctor or something, they'll take me out to lunch like they did Tuesday. I had to go to the doctor. We ended up going to lunch. Good. But uh, outside of that, uh, I get along with the meals. And it's nice to help supplement during the week for you? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, get something different. <laughs> and you like seeing Betsy? Oh, yeah. Very much so. Yeah. There's always a need for more volunteer drivers and kitchen help. Please contact the community dining room at 203-488-9750 for more information. Okay, so